Time to meet our last inductee. He is an icon in the world of cricket. It's all happening here at the MCG is a favourite line of that great cricket commentator, Bill Laurie. As a much-loved voice and face in the commentary box and as a player and captain, Bill has for five decades been a key figure in Australian cricket. As an opening batsman, Bill was renowned for his stubborn defence under difficult circumstances. His defiant approach was the butt of many wisecracks, but he racked up 5,234 runs in 67 test matches at an average of 44.15. His 13 test centuries anchored a string of double century opening stands. Bill captained Australia in 25 tests for nine wins, including an historic series victory in 1969-70, as well as eight draws. He was dropped as captain and player in controversial circumstances in 1971. But Bill's contribution to cricket has carried on as a familiar face and voice of our summers. Ah, It's all happening here at Crown Palladium tonight as Bill Laurie is inducted into the Sport Australia Hall of Fame. Please welcome Bill Laurie and to make the presentation, former teammate Bob Simpson. Some sort of a week for you, Bill. A Victorian living treasure and now inducted into the Hall of Fame. Could only get better, I imagine, if one of the pigeons has a win on the weekend. <laughs> well, yeah, before I answer that, Hamish, um, I'm so delighted to see um, Bobby Simpson here tonight. Um, Bobby Simpson was my um, second test captain. The first was Richie Bineau, and then Bobby took over, and um, we toured England. Can I, can I tell the story? Oh, no. oh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> We, we toured in England in 1964 and uh, we were an established step test opening pair and uh, for me I was going to boast but making hundreds wasn't all that difficult for me. Um, I'd get one here and I'd get one there and we go, we go to England and Bobby's played, he's two at South Africa, he's played three series in Australia, he hasn't made a test hundred and we get to um, Manchester and we're None for 202, which is a record opening stand for an Australian opening pair in England at that time. And the scoreboard showed um, Rory 106, Simpson 89, a few extras. And I'm facing a guy called Mortimer, who was an off spinner, which really means you can't bowl. And uh, <laughs> I've, I've hammered the ball back to Mortimer, he's knocked it away about 40 metres and I said to Bobby Simpson, come one, which was a call to come through, and I got to the same end and Bobby had his back turned to me and he's batting the crease. And I got run out by 22 yards. <laughs> Three days later, Bobby was dismissed for 311. <laughs> so it's great to see Bobby again. And what was that question, Hamish? <laughs> well, I... I can't swim, I can't run, but I can race pigeons. That's about what I've got all going for me. Is he gone forever or is he coming back? <laughs> you just keep going. No, 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 no. No, you're getting paid earned your money. Come on. I wish I was. Tell me this. Uh, you talk about Bobby Simpson. You two took on some fearsome attacks. Did any really terrify you? The most fearsome. Um, can I tell you about... No, I won't tell you about the other run out. Uh, yeah, well, um, we went to the West Indies in um, 1965, Bobby was captain, and uh, we'd all seen... Well, all the elderly people, the 77 years of age, like myself, we'd all seen Wes Hall play in 1961, and he was quite fearsome. But we went and they found a guy called... Um, what was his name? Uh, Charlie Griffiths. And... Uh, 
Charlie Griffiths' record the previous year was he played in the Lancashire League. He got 102 wickets at an average of two and put 18 batsmen in the hospital. <laughs> and uh, we were watching, this is a true story, we were watching them warm up. And uh, Bobby didn't lack confidence. I was very shy. Bobby doesn't lack confidence. And we are watching the West Indians practice. We were at the second session. And this Charlie Griffiths bowled the ball and he hit the back of the nets and the nets fell down. Put me down. And I said to Bobby, did you see that? And Bobby said, yes. And I turned to Brian Charles Booth, a Methodist way preacher, and he was down on his knees praying. <laughs> and I thought, go over and ask Sobers, how fast is this Griffiths? So Bobby, see him walk, Bobby walks over to get Sir Garfield Sobers and said, how fast is this bloke bowling at 102 miles an hour? He said, no, he's cocked at 180. Last week we had a trial. Bobby came back and said, he only bowls at 180, we can handle this. And I said, OK, that's fine. So we go to the, long story, we go to the, <laughs> we go to the test match and we're getting out of the bus and one of our middle order batsmen pulled a cartridge. <laughs> getting out of the bus the first morning of the test match. He said, I can't play. And I remember Graham Thompson, was, Graham Thomas from New South Wales, a wonderful attacking batsman, he was 12th man, he nearly passed out because he, he, <laughs> he was in the side. And uh, so Bobby and I did the right thing. We got out early and <laughs> we went to get four and five and they locked themselves inside the toilet. So to answer your question, Hamish, yes, they were very fast. I'd just like to point out to John Bertrand, it's been 20 minutes, but still only two questions. So, <laughs> tell me, you've made an extraordinary career in the commentary box. Has one player excited you more than any other? Gee, that's tough. Um, now, I think the beautiful part about the commentary box is that you, you see all the great players um, not under pressure as a player. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that Sir Garfield Sobers is the best cricketer I've ever seen, I think by far the best, batting, bowling and fielding. He was just a superb, he was the Bradman of my, of my time. Certainly not a batsman like Bradman, but I'd certainly, if I had to pick a side tomorrow, I'd pick Sobers before I'd pick Bradman because he was so versatile. If I could wave a wand, you could go back to one moment you enjoyed the most in your cricketing career. Where would you end up and with who? Well, the most, the mo most enjoyable moment was winning the district final from Northcote. Um, I went there as a 12 year old. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, played in all the 11s, went through all the 11s and uh, we got into a grand final against Essendon um, and they made 514, and, uh, which was a record at the time. So I decided to beat it and I made 282 not out and we beat them. So <laughs> that, that was really... Um, That, that was a big moment. I think I enjoyed that most. But I, I think what I really enjoyed most was going on the, um, the ship to England. I, I was a Northcote boy. I, I didn't drive a car when I went to England. I used to ride a bike to work. I was a, a plumber. And I used to ride the bike to work. And we were on this ship and we were wearing black ties at dinner. And there was Benno and Harvey and Grout and O'Neill, Simpson, Mackay, Mackenzie, Lindsay Klein, Ian Quick. Just wonderful. And it was just a wonderful experience. And I'm sure all the athletes here tonight, I think, Probably the most important part is not really what you do on the field, I guess. It's important to stay on the side, Hamish, that's important, but um, it's the people you tour with, and I have some wonderful touring partners. Just as we leave, the 12th man, Billy Birmingham. <laughs> Friend or foe, is he added to the legend? Well, Richie won't listen to it. Um, <laughs> Greggy loves it, and Ian Chappell doesn't like it. What does Bill Laurie think of it? Well, um, can I tell her? Yep. Of course I can. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, went, I was uh, cricket manager at Cricket Victoria and I, went, I was going around primary schools trying to encourage it because they took cricket off the menu and they were playing music or something. So I went around to <laughs> the primary schools and uh, I'm giving this lecture on what a great game it is. And this little kid in the grade two came up to me and he said, did Merv use really boof that man on the Billy Man Birmingham table? <laughs> So um, I think Billy Birmingham added a new aspect to cricket, but I think he was a bit over the top, to be honest. You can come back now, Hamish. I've just about finished. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you for everything you've done as a player, as a commentator. Wonderful to have met you tonight for the first time. Well done on your induction into the Hall of Fame. Thank you. Thank you.